we now talk about applications of the antipodal map. So we have learned that you have a map like this from SN to SN this map is alpha and if this map is antipodal then it has degree as minus 1 to the power of n plus 1. So antipodal map basically sends this point x lying on the sphere to minus x and we saw that this map alpha has degree minus 1 to the power of n plus 1. So this n becomes n plus 1 here. So let us apply this. So the first application is that this SK admits a nowhere vanishing smooth vector field if and only if this k is odd. Uh, so let me draw this. So say you have a sphere like this. You pick a point on the sphere. So this point is x and then you have this vector perpendicular to it. V of x. So this is perpendicular. So you have x comma this V of x is 0. Just taking a dot product. So if this sphere is uh, sk then we are obviously working in rk plus 1 because uh, if this is S2 then each and every point is 3 coordinates so K plus 1 coordinate so this vector field is from RK plus 1 to RK plus 1 so in particular if K is odd that is K is 2M minus 1 then uh, this vector field field would be from uh, 2M minus 1 plus 1 so R2M to R2M and uh, you can set this vector field as this x1 y1 is taken to uh, so the from r2m to r2m so this vector field is taking it and uh, you can check that the dot product would be zero so uh, say this x is x1 y1 and x2 y2 so you are in r4 and uh, the vector field basically takes this to minus y1 x1 minus y2 x2 so now you can find the dot product of x and this vector so x vector dot v vector what you get is uh, minus x1 y1 You're multiplying these two then multiply these two plus x1 y1 multiply these two minus x2 y2 then multiply these two plus x2 y2 standard dot product and you see this is 0 so this holds so if k is odd you can have a vector field like this so now suppose that sk admits a vector field v which is nowhere vanishing so this vector field v does not vanish anywhere so if it does not vanish you can construct a homotopy and this is the homotopy which will lead to a contradiction so this homotopy is like this cos pi t of x plus sin pi t x uh, just like this and you can see if you put t equals to 0 then this part becomes 0 and uh, you land up at x gets mapped to x so you have the identity map for t equals to 0 when you put t equals to 1 again the second part will be 0 because sin pi is a 0 and then you are just left with uh, cos pi x and cos pi is minus 1 so in the second part x gets mapped to minus x so we have constructed a homotopy from the identity map to the antipodal map and which implies that uh, this homotopy implies that both these maps have the same degree so degree of antipodal map is minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 because we are working in sk and uh, degree of identity is just 1 and these two are equal only if k is odd so if k is even then uh, you obviously will have minus 1 on this side and 1 on this side so that will lead to a contradiction so therefore you have that sk admits a nowhere vanishing smooth vector field if and only if k is odd so this will hold if and only if this holds and this will hold if and only if k is odd so now we come to the second uh, application of uh, this uh, 
degree of antipodal map. So say there are two maps f and g going from sphere to sphere such that f of x is not equal to g of x. Then f is homotopic to this g composed with antipodal map. So first notice that both f of x and g of x they lie on the sphere. So since f of x because this x uh, gets mapped to this sphere so this absolute value of f of x and absolute value of g of x is just one the radius but f of x is not equal to g of x so this is important to notice so notice they are not equal this is the condition but if you find the distance then they are equal so they both lie on the sphere but they are not identical points yeah that is obvious you know the taking two points on the sphere these two points both are at a distance one from the center but they are not the same points one point is lying here one point is lying here and that is what f of x and g of x are there are two points so now you can construct a homotopy like this between f of x and g of x at t equals to zero we put t equals to zero this becomes uh, this will become f of x over and this denominator we just said is one so t equals to zero is f of x and if you put t equals to 1, uh, this expression becomes minus g of x over and again the denominator is 1. So you get minus g of x. So this is uh, nothing but uh, composition with antipodal map. So f is homotopic to this map. Now if you put g equals to 1, here if you put g equals to 1 that is the identity map then if f is not equal to identity that is that um, f does not fix any point so f of x is not equal to g of x for all x so f does not fix any point then degree of f is equal to minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 because then f is homotopic to this antipodal map composed with the identity map so degree of f is degree of the antipodal map and degree of antipodal map is right here. Now the only thing left is we want to make sure that this denominator does not become zero. And let us check this. So this denominator would be zero if and only if you have this f of x over g of x. This is equal to t over one minus t. So if this condition holds, then this denominator will become zero. Now, but you know this absolute value of this part is just one. So if this condition has to hold, then t has to be half. So t over one minus t is one precisely when t is half. So this implies t has to be half if the denominator is zero. But if you put t as half, so if you put t as half, you get the denominator becomes half f of x minus half g of x and this is what the denominator now is and in that case the denominator is never zero because f of x is not equal to g of x so this is not zero so the idea is that the denominator is uh, not zero so this homotopy makes sense